Yo, 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 what's the deal? It's your boy Hula Kendo, and we back. So, um, we've been doing reactions for a couple of days. Couldn't find no topics really to talk about, but I just found a topic, you know what I'm saying, I wanted to talk about that everybody I know in the NBA community who watch sports shows, whether you watch First Take, Undisputed, Speak for Yourself, uh, First Things First, you know, Get Up, whatever you watch. You know what I'm saying? Good morning football. You know what I'm saying? But this is just those. I might even clean that. Undisputed is got to be one of the most entertaining shows. My favorite is Speak for Yourself. That's probably my favorite show out of every out of everybody out of everything. Um, Undisputed is obsessed with LeBron. LeBron has a chokehold on the sports media. I thought ESPN would be the ones having to talk about LeBron so much, but Undisputed talks about LeBron 30 times a day. I mean, they talk about anything that has to do with him, bro. Like, it's, it's getting out of hand. It's becoming... Annoying to watch, bro. If they not, they, they don't even got to be this man on the court. I can understand if you're talking about him and then talk about him on the court. They having segments about LeBron. Could could he go and uh, play football? Could he play in the NFL and all this? Some hypothetical shit that has nothing to do with what's going on right now with him and the season. I mean, they talk about this man could be drinking wine on live or whatever, and they put it on Undisputed. Like, bro, it's it's ridiculous. And then leave out some big stuff that's going on around the league. Like last year, when the Warriors was balling, I could have I could count on one hand how many times they was on on Undisputed. Beginning of the year, they had Steph on there a few times, but. Like, really throughout the year, even throughout the playoffs, for real, for real. They really didn't have Warriors stories like that until they absolutely had to, like the finals and the Western Conference finals. They had no choice. But they find some way, somehow, to talk about this man. They took a break for a minute because they was talking about KD every day and this trade shit. But they still found some way to sneak them in there. But, bro, like, their topics and segments is getting so terrible, bro. You got the Cowboys, Brady, LeBron. Then you might sprinkle in some Baker Mayfield and, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. But Cowboys, Brady, LeBron, Lakers. That's what they're going to talk about every damn day. And then this bed talking about LeBron is the most disrespected player. No, he's not. LeBron's not even close to being the most disrespected player. They show him, in my opinion, as much love as I, I probably didn't ever seen any NBA player, especially the media. That's cap. Now, it may be player, you may see disrespect as not calling him a goat, but that's not real disrespect. It may be, it is some people out there that take it too far with criticizing LeBron and Jump, but I'm not one of them. If I criticize him, I criticize him or whatever I think about it. I don't add nothing extra or say nothing extra on it. You can tell that they don't have no topics or nothing like that. It's just LeBron, Brady, Cowboys, repeat. And it's, it's sad because First Take got way better segments than Undisputed. And I used to think the opposite. So, yeah. That shit is... I can see why First Take is blowing them off the water with views. I think 
it's like 425 to like 180. Like, first take is going up. So, yeah, man, it's been Hood's Window. Back with another video.